Hello and welcome to a Visual C++ tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can use a MySQL connector that comes def uh, by default with the MySQL server to connect C++ or a C Visual C++ program in the .NET framework to a MySQL database. So first thing we want to do actually is we're going to go over to our Solution Explorer. Then you want to right click here, go to Properties. And then you want to click on Common Properties, or I already clicked on it basically, or one of these. Anyways, uh, you want to add a new reference under the .NET, and then under .NET, you want to scroll down until you see, excuse me, you want to scroll down until you see MySQL data, and then you want to hit OK, and OK. So now we have added our reference to MySQL. So the first thing I'm going to do, or I'm just going to add two objects onto the screen, because I kind of have to, even though I really... I mean, this is better than object-oriented programming, but anyways, won't get into that. Um, so we're just going to add a text box and a button, and I'm just going to put the text to the button, I'm going to say run, and then I just want to name my text box so I can reference it easier, TX, txt query. So two objects, then we want to double click our run button, this will open up with a code editor window, and before we start making the connector or connection, we have to actually tell uh, C++ that we want to use it, so we have to say using namespace um, MySQL data uh, MySQL client. So now our connection is in, or we've referenced it, so we can begin making our uh, connection. So the first thing we want to do, and keep in mind we're referencing this entire thing, so we have to cap everything and use um, different namespaces, sort of. I'll go into more detail when we actually use it. Anyways, um, so the first thing we want to say is we want to say string, we're going to cap our string, I'm just going to zoom in here so you can see better. So string, I'm just going to use uh, user query, or SQL query. And then SQL query is going to be equal to txt query arrow text. So this just creates a string placeholder variable for whatever text gets entered in that. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to create another cap string variable. And this one is going to be called, um, what should we call this? How about just connection info. And connection info excuse me, needs to be uh, our data source or um, where, what our uh, IP of the server is. So in my case, I'm running it on my local, on my local host, and then we separate these with semicolons. So data source, local host, and then I want my next, the next thing that is in there is our uh, port number and port number is by default 3306. I think it's by default, I'm not entirely sure, but mine is 3306. And then our username, in my case it is root and password, in my case admin. And then finally, last thing you need is your database. And I'm going to be using my programmer's database. And that's a database that I already created. So. Now that we have our connection info set up, next thing we have to do is create the actual connection. So um, from the using namespace, or from our reference object, or thing, we can call MySQL connection as uh, a variable setter. MySQL connection, and we'll just call this connection, or con, and that's going to be equal to a gcnew MySQL connection and where do we want to make this connection? We want to make this connection on our connection info. So this will make our connection. Next thing we want to do is we want to tell um, C++ that we want to run a command. So we have to call my SQL command and we'll just do um, concmd, so our connection command, and that is going to be equal to a gc new my SQL command, this takes two parameters, one is a string, the other is a connection database, or a MySQL connection, and so the first string we want to run the command that is in the text box, so remember we referenced that earlier with SQL query, and then we want to call our connection, or con. We'll close that off, 
then the last thing that we need is a MySQL data reader, and we'll just call this data reader. And the reason that we say GC new instead of just new is because MySQL connection and MySQL command are both .NET garbage references they're called. I'm not entirely sure why that term is used, but when I was looking into it they are called like garbage references. And when you're doing a .NET um, framework reference you need to use GC new. I don't know whose idea that was, but it's just what you gotta do. Anyways, uh, next thing we want to do, we want to put this under a try catch statement because we want to catch an exception because I just hate to do all the if then statements for exceptions. So try catches are really come in handy for this. So try, and then we should actually set this up. Catch. Um, we want to catch exception. Yx, and then under our catch, we want to say. Um, message box show and we'll just say ex arrow message just get the message from that just so we that so that way we know you could actually just like print this out in a um, list box as like a debugger so it looks more professional but just for this video I'll just put it in a message box and then under our try, our actual try statement, we have to do a few things. We have to let C++ know that we want to open our connection, so we have to just say con arrow open, and we need to put parentheses around that, because it's, it's a function. So con arrow open, and then the next thing we want to do is we're going to call our data reader is equal to our connection command, and our connection command needs to execute reader and that looks about it let's see if we got any errors oh wow that's a bunch of errors hold up haha <laughs> and I did the exact thing I told myself at the beginning of the video not to do I forgot to cap my variables oh my god I don't know why that's a thing anyway cap your variables remember that um okay so this runs um, but before I do anything, I am just going to show you guys. Uh, I'm just going to bring up my database here. Hold on a second. Sorry, my screen recorder got in the way. Um, so this is my database here. I was testing with this earlier here. Um, so can I zoom in? I can't. Uh, I, if you watch any of my MySQL tutorials, you know the basic syntax of... Oh my god, why did I do that? Hold on. Anyways, uh, as I was saying... If you know the basics of my of SQL, uh, you'll know what I'm doing. But uh, watch my MySQL tutorials if you want to know the syntaxes of what I'm doing. But anyways, so this page here will just actually a act as just a regular query from here. Um, so we're actually we can just delete this. So we would just want to say if we just want to say update update software because we're already in our uh, database so we just want to update software and then we want to just or no or no oh whoops we, just, we could just say delete from software where ID is equal to 18 and we run that and then if we Refresh this, it disappeared. And actually, I forgot to, um, I just want a little message to let myself know that it was successful. So, we'll just say, command performed. I don't know, something stupid like that. And then we can also just say, like, insert into software name programmer underscore id these are all the namespaces for my database values uh, works and then random numbers so run command performed and then if we refresh this it works and our data was inserted um, so yeah, this is the basics of how to create a MySQL connector in C++. Um, all the source code will be in the description of the video. Thanks for watching, and see.